It is uh, common to have jaundice for the first two weeks of life after birth. This is known as physiologic jaundice. If the jaundice persists for more than two weeks, one must suspect a problem that may be more serious and must immediately do a, a certain number of investigations. The most important investigation is a blood test to see if the direct bilirubin is high. If the direct bilirubin is high and the child is passing pale color stools and high color urine, then we must suspect a condition called biliariatresia. This can easily be identified with an ultrasound scan, a liver biopsy and blood test. But the best way to diagnose this is to do a perioperative cholangiogram. This procedure has 100% sensitivity and specificity and it involves a small operation where the gallbladder is cannulated and dye is injected and images are taken of the biliary tree. If the biliary tree is absent, then the child has biliary atresia. As you all know, biliary atresia is a disease where there is destruction of the biliary tree outside and within the liver. Once biliary atresia is diagnosed, the child must be offered a Kasai operation. The Kasai operation basically uh, connects the intestine to the hilum of the liver and allows the stagnant bile to drain. If the Kasai operation is not done, the liver will become progressively cirrhotic and fibrotic and the child will end up with end-stage liver disease. The Kasai operation is a simple procedure. Um, it is not expensive and it takes about four hours to do in a specialized center. The child stays for about seven days in hospital and usually the outcomes in terms of morbidity and mortality are very good. The Kasai operation is successful the earlier it is done. So if biliary atresia is diagnosed under one month of age, the Kasai operation is successful in 80% of children. The older the child, especially between six, between 30 and 90 days, the Kasai operation is successful in 60% of the children. More than 90 days, the Kasai operation is less successful. However, about 30 to 40% of children from this age group also will clear jaundice. The Kasai operation, like I said, is a four-hour operation versus liver transplantation, which is a 12-hour operation. Also, the Kasai operation is a very important first management protocol for biliary atresia because 30% of children after a Kasai operation, when they clear jaundice, will never ever need a liver transplantation. The 70% of children who need a liver transplantation may not need it immediately. If the Kasai is successful, then they will need a liver transplant only 3 to 4 years down the line. If the Kasai fails, even then transplant can be postponed to 6 months to 1 year of age. During this time, the child will grow and transplant will become safer because the body weight of the child increases. Also. The lesser the duration of immunosuppression, the better it is for the child. So rather than give immunosuppression after doing a transplant in the newborn period, it is better to do a Kasai operation and wait for two to three years till the child, if the child develops liver failure, then we do a transplant and then immunosuppression is justified. Probably the largest children's hospital in the private sector in South India, however, we are a not-for-profit trust and we treat all specialities of pediatrics. My special interest is pediatric liver surgery and because of this we do at least 15 Kasai operations a year. This puts us in a unique position where we have experience with both management and research with the disease of biliary atresia. Also, the Kasai operation um, is done at a very economic cost in Child's Trust Hospital because like I said, we are a not-for-profit trust.